Alright, today in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating this Zoom 56K external serial port modem I recently got for free. So first, let me give you a little overview of the modem. So as you can see, it has quite a few um, indicator LEDs here. Um, basically, they just come on when you connect, um, and there's a key actually on the bottom that tells you what all of them mean, which is pretty nice. So as you can see on the top here, it has a um, a um, phone RS-232 connector for a telephone line and a output for a phone. If you were to put a phone connected to this, you could also have a phone connected to the same line as your modem. So right here it has a DB25 serial output here and the power supply connection there. Now as you can see, this cable um, is a DB25 to DB9 serial adapter. Um, I actually recently, just actually yesterday, ordered a um, ordered a um, a uh, uh, DB25 to Apple serial adapter, so I can actually use this modem on my Macintosh SE up there, which will be quite interesting. So. Um, it appears as though my serial bus is frozen up for some reason. I guess it was because I turned this off while it was connected. So let me just go ahead and reboot my system real quick. Go ahead and turn it on. And for this demonstration, we'll, we will be using my Midwest Micro Elite Soundbook. It has a 75 megahertz DX4 processor. 486, of course. And it is running Windows for Workgroups 3.11, as you can see. Okay, now that the system is booted and the modem is connected, let's go ahead and connect to my free dial-up internet service. So, we're going to go into the Internet Explorer um, program group here, and we're going to hit the no charge icon that I've created. As you can see, it'll pull up a dial up box here and type in the number, which is already typed in, as you can see. So we will go ahead and connect. Alright, and as you can see, it has established a 56K connection, and the computer is now automatically opening Internet Explorer, which it does for some reason, and as you can see, we are now running Internet Explorer. I believe this is version 3.02, if I remember right. Yes, 3.02. So the first thing we're going to do is just go ahead and head on over to Google.com. And it appears as though my system has frozen. Um, don't know what just happened there, but um, I guess I'll have to reboot and uh, see what happens. I'll be right back. Alright, well that was quite strange, but as you can see, we are now on Google.com, 
um, rather poorly rendered, as you can see, but it does indeed work. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick search for a popular, or well not popular, but a website, a modern day website that is still um, compatible with old browsers like this. And that is called Space Jam. Uh, it's a website for a movie, as some of you may know. You can see the transmit and receive data LEDs are flashing on the modem. As you can see, it has loaded the Google search page, so we'll go ahead and open the Space Jam link. It's quite slow, as you can see. Alright, and as you can see, it has fully rendered and loaded the website. So let's just go ahead and click a few things here. And this is a passive matrix display if you haven't noticed by now. It's actually a rather nice for a passive matrix display, like the cursor doesn't ghost too bad as you can see. But anyway, as you can see, it rendered that uh, space the Space Jam site perfectly fine. So now, I'm going to go ahead and close Internet Explorer, and as you can see, it puts a little icon on the uh, in the bottom area of the screen here that says I'm connected to uh, dial-up internet. Um, so now we're going to actually go on an IRC server using MIRC for Windows 3.1. So we're going to go ahead and connect. Oh yes, I have to actually set up my... Um, use a local host. So now we will connect. Sorry, I kind of forgot how to. actually do not know why it isn't connecting right now. This worked last time. Give me one sec while I get this sorted out. Alright, so sorry about that. It turns out um, I was just connecting to the wrong IP, so... We're going to go ahead and reopen MIRC here, and we're going to connect. And it kicked me off dial-up. Great.
Alright, and we are almost connected. It's actually loading Internet Explorer. I don't know why it does that every time. Alright, as you can see, I have connected to the IRC. And I am now in a room. So... I should get a response back in a second. And as you can see, my friend DJ Computer Guy, who's on YouTube, um, says it works. So yeah, um, I'll give you a link to his channel in the description so you can go check it out. He makes um, lots of good videos about computers and such. So yeah, check his channel out. Um, As you can see, IRC works perfectly over dial-up. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the room now. And disconnect. And I'm also going to disconnect from dial-up. Alright, and we are now disconnected. So that is the Zoom 56K modem, external serial port modem. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video.